Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of this knife, the Victorinox Outrider. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. Yes, that's me waving to you. What's up? What's up? Welcome, one and all. Let's go through the tool set on this Swiss knife. It has a full flat ground blade, you see there. And that switch on the side is the lock release. All right, so it's a locking blade. It's got a wood saw, and we are going to demonstrate many of these coming up in the video. It's got a can opener and a bottle opener, both with screwdrivers on the ends. It's got scissors, and opposite the scissors, it has a very long Phillips screwdriver. That's useful. It's got a corkscrew, which can hold a micro screwdriver. It's got a reamer and an awl and a punch. It's got a toothpick. It's got some tweezers. It's got a key ring for your keys. So that's a pretty interesting and useful tool set to me. I like this model, one of my favorite models. Yeah, I'm getting psyched. You ready? You know, this is all about these three tools. If you're buying this, it's probably because you want, at a minimum, the blade, the saw, and some scissors. All right, let's start off with some blade usage. We're going to put a notch in this piece of wood, this shard of firewood. All right, I already put a stop cut there, so... I'm meeting up the stop cut. The Outrider is definitely one of my favorite models of Swiss knife. I felt it needed more love, that's why I'm doing this demo video. I already did kind of an overview like a tabletop video, but I felt it needed, I felt it earned more airtime. There are a lot of Swiss knives of this size that have the blade and the saw, right? But there are not so many that also have the scissors. So that's really the deciding factor. All right, cleaning up our notch there. All right, so there's the notch. Now a little bit of saw usage. I'm going to put a stop cut on this piece of wood. We'll make another, we'll make another notch, All right? The, um, the blade and the saw are a team, right? They're a, they're a woodworking team. They're a bushcraft team. And yeah, this is a pretty nice aggressive saw. All right, so there you see our stop cut, which is just a groove that's going to be intersected with a cut. All right, more blade usage. Now, one thing you should know about this locking blade, you see the model I have, it has the lock release on the side of the handle, but I've heard that there's another model that has a different type of lock, All right? So if you order one of these, you might want to double check with whoever you're getting it from. All right, there's my second notch. Pretty good, you can do some bushcraft. Yeah, like I said, you might want to check with whoever you're ordering it from exactly which type of lock is, you know, they're going to is going to be on the one they send you. All right, so there's more blade usage. That's a uh, kiln dried firewood. It's a little tougher than, you know, a green branch or something. All right, so we made a very a very pointy skewer. You can, you know, spear a hot dog with that, I guess, and uh, roast it over your campfire. Speaking of food, here it is peeling an apple. Uh, now, apples contain malic acid, and that's uh, a lot of people take malic acid for fibromyalgia. All right, so my mom used to say apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, maybe that's why. Now, the current price of the Outrider, I checked it just today as I'm narrating this. It's going for about $65 on Amazon right now. But prices are subject to change, so if you're watching this sometime later... I'm going to include links in the text description box. You can click on the link and check what the Amazon price is whenever you're watching this. Hopefully it'll be lower. Hopefully it'll be on sale. All right, so you saw the apple now, the scissors. I've got a variety of materials we can cut. I got some paracord, some nylon, some bike tire tubing. All right, first up, we got some plastic bindings. So how are you all doing? As you can see, Got a lot of snow in New England lately. Been a couple weeks since I posted a video. The scissors are doing awesome on that plastic binding. All right, next up, making a ranger band with some bike tire tubing. All right, so there's your ranger band. Here it is on nylon strap material, kind of like a seat belt or just a strap on your backpack you need to mod. Does an awesome job. Here is some paracord. Now notice, it does. first of all, it does an awesome job, but 
Notice I don't have to hold that paracord taut in order to get the scissors to work. I can just hold it from one side and it'll just cut it, you know, in the air like that. All right, here is the reamer all. All right, we're going to drill a hole in this piece of wood. Now, uh, if you are a man, you don't need a reamer to drill a hole or to enlarge a hole. You know, we've all done that in our day. And that's why my videos are marked as not made for kids. No, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm being bad. All right, yeah, we're drilling a hole. You know, like, let, let's say that you, you carved a replacement handle for a hatchet. And you want your replacement handle to have uh, a lanyard hole. That's where this reamer comes in. It can also be used as a leather punch. You can punch canvas, nylon, pretty much anything that needs a hole. You, you need to mod your gear. You can also sew with it. Right, with the, uh, it has a, the sewing hole. Right, so after a few minutes, punches all the way through, drills all the way through. And you got your hole there. All right. The long screwdriver, and that's my Kershaw Camp 12 machete. We're going to loosen and then tighten uh, one of the screws that holds the handle onto the tang of the machete. All right, I wanted, I definitely wanted to demonstrate this screwdriver because a lot of models of Swiss knife actually don't have this particular in implement. Right, it's got a lot of reach, good clearance. It's altogether like more capable. Right, then, then a lot of uh, drivers you'll find like, you know, stuck on the end of the openers. So I like this. And really, this model has it because they had to put something opposite the scissors. All right, and just for the record, this has two other screwdrivers at the ends of the openers. Now, I'm not going to demo those because we've all seen those in every other Swiss knife. You know, they all have those. All right, so that concludes the demo portion of the video. I'm not going to demo the corkscrew because I... I don't have a bottle of wine, you know. Swiss knives, they make you alcoholic because it's just like opening beer bottles, opening wine. We're going we're gonna to stay sober. We're going to stay sober today. Oh, but do remember the uh, corkscrew can hold the micro driver, so you can actually have four drivers, but mine did not come with one. Here is a useful size comparison. From the left, we have the Fieldmaster, then the Outrider, the Work Champ, and that big mother is the Ranger Grip 71. Right, so those are all competitors that you might want to consider. So that's the Outrider and the Fieldmaster. As you can see, the Outrider is a lot longer. And now the Fieldmaster, that is a great knife. It is the, uh, the knife of choice of many outdoorsmen and bushcrafters that I know, right? Because just it is the most compact and they carry a large fixed blade. All right, here is the Work Champ right on the right. And on the left is the Outrider. As you can see, they are the same length, but the Work Champ definitely thicker. It has more layers, and as you can imagine, it's a good deal heavier. All right, it's also more expensive. Those are going for about $100 now, so $100 versus $65. All right, here is the Ranger Grip 71. Very interesting because it has shears. Basically, big giant scissors. Much bigger scissors than on the Outrider. However, the knife itself is a lot longer and uh, it's just thicker, longer, altogether heavier. Look, it makes the Outrider look small and the Outrider is actually, no, it's not like a, it's not a small size of a Swiss knife itself. So you got choices, you know, you got a lot of choices. Most people use that Ranger grip for gardening, right? Final thoughts on the Outrider. Well, it's definitely uh, thicker and heavier than my Hunter which is what I would carry if I didn't particularly need scissors that on that outing, right? But it is thinner and lighter than my work champ and also than the Hercules. So it's a great model because it's in between. So definitely consider it. It might suit your needs. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful to you. If you like Swiss knives, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to cover more. And I've already covered the Fieldmaster, the Ranger and the Farmer X, right? So I will include a list of links to those videos in the text description box. Also in the text box, I will include a list of useful gear, lots of different models of Swiss knife. You can go check those out, fill some holes in your collection, right? So if you like videos like this where the reviewer demonstrates the item as they give you information about it, please try to use those links because those do help support the channel, all right? 
This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.